On a street-lit sidewalk, eyes settle on my silhouette. I wrap my jacket tighter, but I feel the harvest just as it begins. Her fingers curl around the nape of my tender neck. Her teeth and claws are sharp, leaving ink blotches behind on my alabaster covering. It leeches my life and my skin puckers in defiance. Years flash by and I'm suddenly withering, a plant begging for water. As I lose shape, she grows more defined. She has taken my form, but her eyes are wrong. I stare into my face, but not my soul. This one shudders and trembles, unable to take the transformation. We are not designed to be another. Not for long, anyway. She begins to mimic me. She must have been watching me for a while. I watch, unable to protest, as she walks my walk, says my words. But it's not right, I think, as her voice shudders and breaks into her real growls. She can try her whole life, but she was not born human. This one refuses to accept the isolation of her condition. She believes herself to be an imitation, a copy, watered down, misinterpreted. But that's wrong. She's a monster, that's true. Her eyes ravenous, her mouth sharp. But she has beauty in her. She could have beauty in her if she wasn't so determined to stamp it out.